I think Korean studio apartment. Can I come in? Come in, come in. So before we um, go inside anymore, if you can, if you look here, um, in most Korean apartments we have a we have a shoe area. So this is where I choose to put my litter box, simply because it just traps all the litter to this area. So it's easily um, easily just cleaned up. So, come in. Because um, things are pretty small here, you sort of have to stack a lot of things on top of, on top of each other. So here I have my uh, microwave, coffee machine, toaster, and then at the bottom here I have all the cat stuff like cat food, cat water, uh, my water fountain. So everything is reachable all in this rack here. Okay, this side over here is our kitchen. The cats do like to come on this kitchen countertop like many other cats. However, um, they're getting better these days because every time they go on the countertop, we push them off, right? So here's um, like the typical sort of arrangement for um, Korean sort of Korean kitchens. So we have our sink, our stove, and if you look down here, here is um, the washing machine slash dryer that is um, usually embedded Bounty. with yeah, it's usually embedded within the kitchen unit itself. So it's quite uh, quite compact. And over here we have our trusty um, refrigerator. Again, everything needs to be built in so that it doesn't take up space. So we have our refrigerator. And here is my work area. Um, this is my work area and you know my area is within the cat area. So I sort of have to separate and lay out my work area to be over here and then the cat area would be more on along this wall, right? So the couch, the wheel, and here is where they like to sleep. So they're out of the way and off of the floor, right? So if they didn't have this, probably they would be like sitting on the floor. So it, it sort of gets a little bit cramped on the floor and I don't want to step on their tail. So it's good to have a lot of elevated areas within the room, especially here since it's very small. And again, there's a little bit, um, there's some tables over here and this is the TV watching area with my trusty strong uh, scratching posts, which has been very, very helpful so that they don't scratch the sofa, right? Oh, and, and so that they don't scratch the computer chairs. Okay, so if you come with me to the master bedroom. Now this is the place where if I wanna be away from the cats, I can be. This is my girlfriend's work area, just in case um, we need to do work inside this room. Uh, we, yeah, this is basically uh, her room. Most of her stuff is here. So we live together, we work together. And yeah, this room would be our sort of safe haven from the cats if we need to be alone a little bit, right? And here in Korea, luckily, you know, we, we have a lot of clothes. So we do have a lot of we have a lot of closet space, so yeah, my closet's not exactly that clean, but it can sort of, uh, so you sort of get the idea, right? So closet space over here, and uh, closet space over here, and again, the cats do try to get in here sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mess, but yeah, the cats try to get in here sometimes, so if we have to, oh, you know, uh, I'm gonna try to tape together the closet. Some of them sometimes just let they open it and then goes in. That's true, right? Our Bengal, he's uh, quite smart, so he can 
you know, open the closet. So sometimes I have to kick him out of the room so he doesn't mess up my clothes. Okay. Again, it's low profile, so everything is, you know, close together. And uh, over here, if we want the cats to be in here with us, it provides you know, a little bit of a relaxing space for the cats as well. So as you can see, today is a little bit raining. It's not that great of a weather, but it still allows the cats to uh, look outside and enjoy the view. You know, we're on the sixth floor, so not that high. Um, but it's uh, not bad. Say hi to the camera like that. He's uh, the troublemaker of this of this place, so I always have to keep him in, in, in check. Usually, when I wake up in the morning, he'll go on this, he'll go on this um, scratching post, and he'll yell until I pick him up like this. So he enjoys this position, right? And uh, if you look up here, actually, you'll see that we have a lot of loose stuff, small stuff up here because simply it's harder for the cats to get up here. And uh, yeah, anything that's low to the ground, it's, you know, it could be used as a play tool or something the cats can play with. So anything that we don't want the cats to mess with, like my camera equipment or my headphones, I put up there or books and whatever. Right, so you have to be careful with this guy around. Rosie, she's uh, recently got spayed, so she's not feeling that well. <laughs> so uh, yeah, she, she's just chilling here to avoid these uh, other cats. Oh, it looks like he wants to go inside his little hammock home here. <laughs> oh, it's pretty agile. So that's why I like to keep it up here so that the ground floor is, um, again, not so congested, right? I wish I could have more things, but uh, right now it's currently not possible unless I do like, some nailing or whatever. But again, this place is not our place. We're just renting it for now, right? Okay, okay. Let's go. So anyways, that's my apartment. It's small, there's not much to say about it, so uh, thank you for watching. I hope uh, it was uh, a little bit educational, a little bit informative, and uh, I'll see you next time on uh, my channel. And, uh, please check out my website, and uh, again, if you have any questions, um, leave it down in the comments, and I'll answer it as soon as possible.